as another example of working with molarity in a balanced equation. I'm going to work problem number 16 from the practice worksheets. And I hope you can hear the sound. I just got a message. But anyway, I'll talk louder. So this balanced equation, an acid always starts with an H. So this is sulfuric acid. NaOH, that's the base, sodium hydroxide. And it says that we titrated the acid with the base. So the titration problem is what we are going to do in lab. We put an acid in here, and we know what the volume is. You put the base in here, and the indicator causes this to start turning pink. So we're always going to have a very exact volume of our acid, and then the volume of the base is going to be a strange number because we just shut it off and it turns pink. And we subtract to get the volume difference that we use there. So a titration problem, we're going to use the stoichiometry map. So I'm going to get rid of this book. And we are going to be given a molarity and a volume. So this will use the molarity times the volume of what's given to calculate moles of what's given. The balanced equation will calculate moles of what we're looking for. And we are not going to go back to grams. Moles, remember, is in. So we're going to be solving for an unknown concentration. This is moles, which we just calculated, divided by the volume in liters, which has to be given in the problem. So this is always going to be the exact volume, like 25.00 milliliters or 20 milliliters. So this exact volume, we'll still have to convert it to liters, but this is the one that we measured out. So we are going to be solving for an unknown molarity. Okay, so I'm going to work problem number 16 to do that. So if you look at problem number 16, we are given a volume of sulfuric acid. And so that's this, this volume. This is the exact volume that we put in a pipette and measure that out. And then we have a weird volume, 35.2. So that volume of this molarity of NaOH, that's what we're going to use to calculate moles of NaOH, which is this one. So in this problem, we don't care about that, and we don't care about that. An acid and a base always makes water and salt. But anyway, just to work this problem, I'm going to convert this volume to liters and multiply it by this concentration. Remember, capital M is a mole per liter. So if I do that, this volume is 0 0.0352 liters. And it's that volume of this formula. This is 0 0.150. Capital M, remember, means mole per one liter. And this is the NaOH. So I'm going to use that. And if I look at the problem again, it's asking me for the molarity of H2SO4. So from the balanced equation, uh, I'm going to convert from this to this. So 2 to 1. And this is moles of NaOH. And in the numerator, we're converting to moles of H2SO4. And from our, uh, our stoichiometry map, once we get to moles, we're going to stop and calculate that number and then divide by the volume that was given. So in this case, we had a volume of 25 milliliters, which we'll convert to liters. So I'm going to stop right here. Make sure all my units cancel. Moles of NaOH cancels. And if I do this calculation, 0 0.0352 times 0.15 divided by 2, this number is my moles of NaOH. So I've got 0 0.00264. Boy, I said moles of NaOH. I mean moles of sulfuric acid. If we read the problem, we're asked for 
molarity. So I'm right here, I know moles, and I'm looking for molarity, so I'm going to divide this number by the point zero two five liters. And that number was given in the problem. So we were told that we had 25 milliliters of sulfuric acid. So I really should have that zero there for three significant figures. Okay. And there are the units that we need for molarity. This number is in the calculator, so I'm going to divide by 0 0.025, and I get 0 0.1056. So this would round up to 0 0.106, and a mole per liter is capital M. So if we check the answer there, uh, this one here, D, in this case, is the correct answer for that. And again, on the map, stoichiometry map that we used, we took the volume of the NaOH times the molarity to get to moles, went to the balanced equation to calculate moles of the acid, we stopped and wrote that number down, and then that was here, and then we divided it by the volume, and again, this volume has to be given. 